two days of recording Mozart piano concertos in G major and C minor. We're here at St. John Smith Square in London. These last couple of days we've been so intensely productive. We've been working very hard in the most positive sense. I grew up on so many of the recordings of the English Chamber Orchestra with artistic giants, people like Baron Boehm and Peraya and Mitsuko Ushida. This really made a deep impression on me. I, I got to know this music for the first time through many of these recordings, and having the opportunity to record myself with this group is, I mean, I can't quite believe it. This particular recording of the two Mozart piano concertos comes as part of a bigger picture of immersion in Mozart. And I think the reason for that, first of all, was simply my love of Mozart's music, which has been something very strong for me for a long time. It came at a time in my life that I was looking to delve deeply into one particular composer and see what that experience was like. That allowed me to go deeper into his music and simply learn a lot about his musical language and form and the nuances that he has, and it's, I have to say that for me personally, it's been very rewarding. It has to come from a love of the music and of the composer, and that's something I feel very strongly. I chose these two concertos because in some ways they're a mirror image of each other. The G major is so full of sunshine and joy and it has just these moments of darkness um, that show complexity. Whereas the C minor is essentially a tragic, heroic work full of fury and storm and it has this oasis of calm here and there. And also the last movement of both of the concertos are allegrettos and they are theme and variations. They're the only two variation last movements of Mozart's concertos. And so for these reasons, both the emotional content of the two pieces and the form of the last movement, they really complement each other very nicely. The medium of play conduct playing a Mozart concerto and directing from the keyboard is very well suited to that because it's the perfect repertoire to do that. It's the perfect size of an orchestra. The wind writing is so extraordinary. It's very operatic and so many human emotions are expressed there. In a way, my path coming to play direct has been interesting because I've been playing concertos, Mozart concertos especially, but lots of repertoire. Um, for many years with others conducting, and that's a wonderful experience. I mean, for example, with the G major concerto, I have wonderful memories of working with Pinkas Zuckerman and the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. It just left such a deep impression on me, and of course, he's an artist that has a close relationship with this orchestra as well over the years. And so I think having those experiences in my past and coming to a time in my life that I feel comfortable doing both really allowed some nice things to happen in this collaboration. Mozart's music gives us something that we need so much as human beings. And it seems like now more than ever, with everything going on around us these days, that we need that nourishment. Musical, artistic, spiritual, however you want to call it, however you want to describe it, but there's something that Mozart's music can give us which is so necessary for us as human beings. And I believe that very much, and I think the piano concertos are some of the greatest examples of his art.